Hey everybody, welcome to our October Craft of the Month. Today we're going to teach you how to make a pumpkin potpourri nightlight. This is my friend Karen. You've seen her on the videos before. We do a lot of crafts together. A lot. We like to spend a lot of time at pack of tans. We got our James our Taylor in the background. Store. Yeah. Oh yeah. Didn't you recently interview him? Mm-hmm. <laughs> it was a big thrill of my life. It's on my blog. If you missed the James Taylor interview, go to WDOK.com and click on Nancy's blog. We've got a CD playing in the background. It's called Covers. Great CD. Great it CD. It's a good CD. all those old songs. Anyways, this is what you're going to need for the pumpkin potpourri nightlight. It took me about 20 minutes to make this thing. By the way, this is what it looks like. It looks so cute. And it makes your house smell great, doesn't it? Wonderful. Smell it. <gasps> I wish this was smell-o-vision. <laughs> That's what Rachel Ray says all the time. <gasps> you can smell this onion and garlic cooking. Well, it smells like pumpkin and spice here today because it's a combination of cinnamon, cinnamon. and swirl and pumpkin. Pumpkin, this is pumpkin spice. Okay, so this is what you're going to need. You're going to need a um, grapevine tree. You'll find this by the baskets. You're going to need some fall ribbon, wired ribbon, as thick as you want it. We got it, I think this is about two and a half inches thick and it's about a foot long. You just want it to hang out long enough. And Carol, why don't you go ahead and make the bow for the top of the pumpkin while I'm talking about this. You're gonna need this glass pumpkin and I believe this is for a candle because it's got an opening in the back, but we're using it for our nightlight. It's perfect because then the wire can come out the back. So it's a glass pumpkin. It's nine inches. We've got it right there on the shelves, pack of tans in the fall section. Uh, you're gonna need a fall nightlight set, little mini, uh, lights that come in orange and brown and yellow essential oils pumpkin spice it smells very good these are loose uh, leaves that you find where you, you find all the silk um, flowers and stuff you need some of those loose fall leaves that look like that you're going to put some of those in there uh, we talked about the ribbon some scissors to cut the ribbon uh, the potpourri is cinnamon swirl and I got two small bags of this, and that pretty much fills up this uh, glass pumpkin. And it's four and a half ounces. So if you don't get it there, you, just so you know, you're going to need about uh, nine ounces of the potpourri. Okay, and then you're going to need some uh, packing tape, some clear packing tape, because you're going to cover up the back of it. And all you do is you're going to fill this up, Karen. Actually, uh, you're going to start by putting the lights inside. Yep. Stretch on three lights and put it inside. She's on plugging them now. What song is this? This is uh, something about dancing. This is such a great CD. Covers James Taylor. So good. And all she does is she spreads it apart and she puts it inside there. And then you're going to kind of break it up when you when you put the potpourri inside. Right. Um, oh, and we forgot to tell them. Yeah. About the oil. Yep, we need to do that. I'm going to take the essential oil and put a few drops in there. And this is combining the cinnamon and the pumpkin spice. Mmm, smells like fall. And then you're going to cover it up and you're just going to shake it up a little bit. And you just pour it inside this glass pumpkin. So go ahead and pour it inside. Now we're going to take some of our fall leaves, and you go ahead and do that, that other uh, potpourri there, Karen. Yes, and all I'm doing is taking a handful of the leaves, just to give it a little fall accent. Okay. And the lights, we're going to move around a little, so... Oh, this looks so great in your house. Okay, and pouring the rest of the cinnamon inside there. Sorry, right, it's on. Okay. Then, go ahead and plug that in. And, and I'll hold on to the end of it. Oh. <laughs> I need an extension there. Okay. You get the idea. Okay. You've got the lights in there. And then she's tied a ribbon on her grapevine tree on the base of it there. You're just going to put it on top like that. And voila! You've got a great housewarming gift. If you're going to a clam bake, 
Wouldn't that be a great housewarming gift? Oh, I agree. I agree. It, it, oh my gosh, it smells like fall in your house. So um, that is our October craft of the month. November, I don't know, I'm thinking something about Thanksgiving or something. Pilgrims. Mm. Yeah. Porticopias. If you got any ideas, please email me. Nancy at WDOK. That's my dog. And I, I got to show you this. I got to show you this. Come here, baby. Come here, baby. Oh, you guys know Duffy. Look at his new little outfit. He's got it. <laughs> Hopefully, this will help the Browns win. Yeah, something has to. Let's move this stuff so you can see. Oh, and we forgot to tell him about the packing tape in the back. Oh, to cover it up. You take the packing tape and you cover up that little uh, hole that's in the back. So, look at look at his little outfit. This Just is from this Canine one. Creature. We met this lady at uh, Wolfstock in October. And she makes these. She's out of Garfield Heights. Her name is Deborah Shuffren. And I'll put all that information on my blog if you want to get one for your dog. She makes them any size. She actually measured Duffy while he was there and sent it to us. Isn't that cute? He's got a little brown fleece. And it's so warm. Say bye, Duffy. Say thanks for listening to my mom.